Hey friends, welcome back to the our ongoing series of how to study for IMAT for each subject. So we have so far covered uh, biology and chemistry. Now today we are going to discuss physics section. So as you all know that IMAT physics is considered a little bit harder as compared to chemistry and biology. Uh, but today I'm going to list down how why you think that it uh, the physics is one the physics section of IMAT is harder. The the, the possibility is that the question that comes in a real time exam is uh, considered as harder so students find it very difficult to solve them so we are going to look at that and but the our main motto is actually how to study for physics section of IMAT so just let's begin this video so the physics section of IMAT is a little bit lesser than as compared to chemistry and physics so the syllabus is a little bit reduced so this is the edge that we student get that we can easily prepare for it so now first of all you need to start with biophysics section uh, what you are going to do just uh, look at syllabus if you do not understand syllabus then i have slave explained this whole master class of syllabus uh, where you can look at each and every topic in each and every chapter what you need to cover what uh, how you need to actually uh, look at every topic so i have explained in inch and everything so now pick up syllabus and now decide what chapters you are going to uh, study so if you have decided that i'm going to study kinematics and dynamics although there are at least one or two questions one question at least one question is confirmed every year like examiner asks from force uh, and dark dark was the most favorite question of I'm at examiner uh, from like 2011 till 2018 and 2019 something uh, there was like one question from dark was confirmed so uh, student was like it, the consider was the question was why the questions are difficult so they asked conceptual I'm at physics is totally based on concept so for the first thing is that you cannot cover it by se uh, yourself I know that you can cover it by yourself I'm just saying uh, you in order to master it in order to be good as good like uh, very sharp in physics you need lectures like a uh, honorable and a good tutor a teacher it cannot be like a one to one face to face teacher like you pay uh, 500 dollars 500 bucks or uh, thousand bucks to a student and uh, just to ask him you appear in our previous assignment now i want to learn from you this is not a situation you do you need expert teacher like from youtube from khan academy there are like uh, many many great lectures of great teachers present on youtube that you can actually watch for absolutely free uh, they have explained each and everything in a very very easy and in very detailed conceptual way so i would suggest uh, just learn first of all take some uh, something out of lectures and then uh, start practicing arm at physics if you want to master you need lectures and then practice that's the thing because i mean it's a concept and first of all if you do not know a concept behind specific topic how you're going to solve the related problems to it so the thing is just learn all the concept learn the formula what is the formula that is going to be used in this uh, problem in this specific problem and then there are like concepts if for example examiner says uh, the bus is approaching another bird and bird is flying toward bus so now you and he is asking for average velocity now how you are going to find it if you do not know the concept uh, are behind this so it means that when two bodies are anti-parallel then their um, uh, the average average velocity uh, that is uh, uh, we calculate is being added both added and then we calculate as average V's it means that when two bodies are anti parallel then we add their magnitude and get uh, the desired result whatever the examiner is asking so this was the concept this is going to be you can learn this only from your examiner so that's the situation if you can become master of a concept then you can easily solve it so now that was a first thing and then the additional thing is that there are so many formulas although the syllabus is very small but there are so many formulas so how you are going to memorize all of them so i would suggest make a list for you as um, and then uh, stick it in on wall or anywhere that is uh, that is the place where you go every day or where you like spend most of the time it could be your study table uh, the wall of your study table or the front wall of your bed so that is like helpful 
as i am speaking honestly uh, i was like finding it uh, uh, formulas very difficult to memorize so what i did uh, there was like a list of mcqs of my sister when she prepared for entry test she prepared the formulas in three like four to five pages so what i did i stick them on my washroom wall uh, like in front of me whenever i went to washroom or uh, toilet i just like Five, four to five minutes or ten minutes, I mostly revise all of the formula. So that was the trick that helped me to learn most of the question. I I bet you that this is the most productive thing you are going to do uh, in order to learn uh, physics formulas. So that was the most productive technique I found. I I, I thought I was shared. I think uh, the formulas are not present here. Uh, it's in all the room. I wish I have shown you. Uh, like they are now totally torn apart. Uh, I I stick with the squash tapes. Uh, like i when uh, i think uh, she used to uh, stick for herself on wall and then it was my so i first erase the previous squash tapes and then i added my new ones so they become like fragile and and now it's torn apart so uh, that was actually worse looking and now uh, the main point that i was uh, i need to mention is that I was finding projectile motion. Although the projectile was not included, there was a question from pre in previous time, 2023. Uh, now maybe the just look at armor specifics in which here you are applying. Uh, maybe there is. So I was finding projectile. For example, I'm giving example. So that's not mean that this is included in armor. So I'm in projectile. I was finding projectile motions formulas very hard to memorize. Actually, very very hard. In my high school, I like. I hated projectile motion due to its formula because I I was terrible at uh, memorizing. So what I did, uh, the first page of their formulas um, on which I wrote the uh, projectile motion formulas, I just stick it on the wall and I was revising like every day. Whenever I get into washroom, I was looking at the formulas and I remembered it like a computer, computer brain. I, I'm I serious. I'm damn serious that I memorize it very very sharply. And at the time of exam, I was revising. I now at this time I remember what is the term, formula of time, what is the term, formula of range, what is the formula of uh, what is this height. I remember all of those. So that's the best trick, the, uh, trick that you can use. And I would say practice a lot. Just solve at least maximum problem from previous AMAT exams, past papers, and follow some additional guides. Alpha uh, test, AMAT Alpha test series is very great. Uh, so I would suggest solve it. And additional, I would share some resources, a specific video uh, where I will list down what uh, is the best resources that I found, and I think everybody should use. I actually I use multiple resources, so I will I will list down the best one. So that would be worth watching. And now just understand the syllabus and then under learn the concept from our great good teacher that's the thing and then practice practice will make you perfect nothing else in physics that's the thing at i learned although there are some theoretical things that you do need to learn for example if uh, there is a concept of velocity or there is concept in equation of motion although there is no as such if, um, uh, concept but in like in uh, chemistry in uh, Electrostatics, you need to uh, learn about like capacitor stuff and then combination. Although these are all practice based, nothing is theoretical based. You need to learn, you do need to practice. Just practice, practice, practice. Practice will uh, make you very great in physics. Uh, so that's what the, about physics. So I have tried my best to explain you uh, that uh, how to study for actually physics. So it's all about practice and nothing else. Just uh, you, you can use whatever the book you like i would highly recommend what the book what are the books that you have used in your high school are the best book for physics so do not look around for any other book like you can use although you can use pearson book or ib book and um, that are great but the but the books that you are most familiar with are uh, your high school book and i can just guarantee you that there will be nothing out of your high school book if if the, uh, it comes uh, i would be responsible for you i am that like enough i believe that there is nothing will be out of labor so i i am so much confident uh although you will how you can find me that i am responsible i, I can bet you that just follow your uh, high school physics and i would 
say that uh, you will get a very handsome mark so that was all for uh, I'm at physics and see you in maths and logical reasoning and general knowledge so if you haven't watched the biology one then just go to my channel playlist and there will be uh, biology and chemistry one so thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed to this channel then do so uh, it would be great and uh, if you haven't watched, uh, liked this video uh, then do it and see you in next video till bye bye